I'm Neo. This is going to be your weekly love reading. So immediately, I've already like in the pre-shuffle, some cards came out. And I just want you to know that it's looking like it's totally separate energy for you. I, you may resonate more so with one energy than the other. Just put everything where it goes. Someone here is somebody's life in this con in their connection remember this is no communication so you might not be seeing this person or talking to them on a regular basis or communicating with them like on a regular basis someone here is doing really really well in their life and someone else is not doing so good okay i haven't figured out if it was the divine masculine or divine feminine yet but it looks like if you are in a home where you're feeling great uh, you financially are doing well you're celebrating uh, four of wands energy with the ten of pentacles it's like either you guys have something coming towards you some sort of unexpected like money or for some of you all somebody could be buying a home you could be celebrating something here um, You, someone could be getting married I don't know right you're happy it seems like you guys somebody here is happy uh, maybe even someone is getting a, a inheritance or um, a new home that involves some like maybe trust funds whatever somebody's inheriting something or your life is just you're just standing on a very strong solid foundation right now and you're doing really good in your life you're really not worried about anything um and yeah but somebody else is not doing so well. The High Priestess in reverse is here with the Knight of Cups in reverse. And that is kind of giving me manipulative energy here. Um, not only manipulative energy here. This is somebody here whose intuition was blocked. Um, this is someone here who there was an unrequited love situation when you were with them. This person could uh, be stuck in some form of illusion or karmic cycle. It looks like. This person really doesn't know who they are, to be quite honest. They they lack boundaries, almost, is what I'm getting here. Um, and this person's emotional emotional state is is not is not well. It's really not well. I don't know what this is about, but boy, oh boy. <sighs> Again, this is like night and day energy for sure. It's like you guys, if you're resonating with the side where you're doing fine, you're happy, you're healthy, you know what I mean? You're enjoying spending time with your family. You've been very social here lately here. Um, <clears throat> you've been succeeding in your life. Your money, your financial status has just been like improving. Someone here, it, I feel like it's just really discontent. They're not, they're stuck in some sort of negative pattern that they need to get themselves out of here. Very, very strong Pisces energy here with the High Priestess in reverse. The Hangman just came out in reverse. Um, the Knight of Cups is also here. So, I mean, you could be dealing with anybody here. Yes, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But show me more heard about this person who's stuck. Like, things are not going well for this person, Okay. This person could be lying to themselves. Their intuition could be blocked. They could not be listening to their intuition right now or allowing their intuition to... Using their intuition to guide them. Hmm. For some of you all, this person is very impulsive. Hmm. Somebody could be depressed. I don't know. That could be for somebody here. Your person... This person that you're... This, yeah. Somebody is really searching for some answers here. They are going through something, okay? Could be a Virgo. They don't have to be a Virgo with the Hermit being here. This person is looking for themselves because I, I, I don't know what it is that they have going on here, but show me what's going on with this person, please, Spirit Guys. What's going on with this person in their life right now? So, yeah, they're not happy. Ten of Cups in reverse. This person is just not happy. I mean, this person could be living in a dysfunctional environment or like I said, in a very karmic cycle here. They could be in a broken home or this person could be from a broken home. There's no security right now. There's a lack of stability in their home or in their life or in their finances. And they're very emotional and they don't have control over this at all. At all. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio here. They don't have to be. Um... For some of you all, not for everybody, but somebody here could be in a marriage and they could be extremely unhappy here. Show me more about this person who's unhappy, please. <clears throat> for some of you all, 
we have a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm telling you, there's strong Pisces energy here. And on the bottom of the deck is Aries energy. Or sometimes, for me, the Fool in reverse. Somebody here is, I'm telling you, very, very either emotionally manipulative, immature, have some growing to do. Um, they're very impulsive. Um, this person did made some form of risk. They, this person took some form of risk. And I feel like the risk that they took didn't work out for them. It just didn't work out for them. They didn't trust their intuition. And now their intuition is like, yeah. This person could have, they were supposed to maybe start a new beginning somewhere else. And they just chose something else. And it, it's not working out. It's giving somebody here, it's giving, getting karma or something. Yeah, eight of cups. But here, see, somebody is trying to, knew they, they were supposed to walk away from something here. Hmm. What is this person walking away from? I mean, wherever they're not happy, because we know they're not happy, that's for sure. So now this person's in the energy of like, maybe they're regretting not walking away from something quicker than they should have. Show me more here. Yeah, man, the star in reverse, Aquarius energy. Listen, you guys, the star in reverse is this person is hopeless. This person's unhappy. Just this person is like unhappy and bored in a situation or wherever they are. They definitely have some healing to do. It's like this person feels stuck. They definitely don't feel like they feel like they're a failure right now. Hmm. This person, for some of you all, is focusing on the negative. This person feels a lack of inspiration. Like I said, somebody here could be depressed here. Let's see what that's about. <clears throat> Show me more about what's going on with this person. What's the problem? What's going on with this person? <clears throat> For some of you all, uh, this person is secretly like watching you online. Yeah, I told you toxic karmic love. This person is so unhappy right now and discontent in their life in whatever situation that they're in be, they, because they chose something that was to, to remain in a toxic karmic connection with somebody here. This person is refusing to see how their decisions that they made have affected, have really gotten them where they are today. Like literally, this person ignored the red flags. This person ignored their intuition. They made the wrong choice. Um, you know, this person is staying in this situation. Ten of Cups in reverse. The Fool in reverse. The Star in reverse. There is no growth here. Nine of Cups in reverse. Like, they're, they, the Hangman in reverse. Like, <clears throat> this person, it says, hold on, what does it say? Convenience marriage. Codependence. This literally, so like I said, for some of y'all, especially with this Ten of Cups in reverse, this person, for some of y'all, is with someone and they are just with them out of convenience. But low key, this person is very sad. This person is a little depressed. This person is is emotionally drained. I feel like they don't have any energy here. And for some of you all, with energy vampire being here, the energy vampire, I feel like I'm looking at one side here and everything on your person's side is dark. It's dark energy. Your side is all light, orange, yellow, green. This person is all blue, black, gray. This, I'm telling you, this, this person, you know... I feel like when you were dealing with this person, they used you for your energy. This person was like, you know, kind of giving like succubus energy. They, so now that their energy supply has ran out because you guys are not talking to them or there's no communication, this person really wants to come back towards you. And I feel like because you, you all are in this energy, you're not even in this type of energy here, you guys. You're doing great, and this person is low on fuel. Like, this person is on E, and they're secretly lurking and watching you. Um, they're crazy about you. This person may even have a fake social media account, and this person has an like, unhealthy obsession with you. This person has an unhealthy, like, obsession with you, you guys. Okay. Ouch. Wow. Show me more about the collective here. Show me about this other side. What's going on for my collective? 
Yeah, you guys are good. Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. You guys are good. You guys are doing amazing right now. If you're not in this energy, you're going to be, or this is the energy that you desire. This is the energy that you're moving towards. This is the energy that is surrounding you. You're manifesting this. This is coming towards you. You guys are about to receive blessings, abundance, good fortune like you guys are getting your heart's desires you've been working really hard at something here some of y'all are like moving into new homes buying new cars you're happy with where you are right now or you're happy with the direction that your life and your path is heading down your wishes and your are being fulfilled show me more about the collective over here please <clears throat> i'm telling you you don't want to communicate with this person this page of wands just went in reverse on this person's side, which tells me you do not want to talk to this person at all. Show me more about the collective here. What's going on with my collective? What's going on with my collective, please? Whoa. Ten of Cups. Four of Pentacles in reverse. You drop this and you let this go. You drop this and you have really, really let this go. Um, I feel like you guys are in the flow of things. You're happy. You got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. With um the Nine of Cups here. I'm telling you, you guys, you you guys are happy. You're about to have a fairy tale ending if you don't. Some of y'all are getting married. You're meeting part the person that you're gonna marry and be with. All right. Show me more about the collective energy, please. This person, this ten of wands, just um, flew over here on your person's side. Hmm. You know what? I feel like you guys walked away. You, this person stressed you out in the past. You put in a lot of effort. You made a lot of sacrifices. Um, you put in a lot of hard work, you know what I'm saying? And you, it took a lot out of you to have the willpower to walk away from this connection. Because again, this person was using your energy. They were draining you and you didn't want to end up with all these burdens. Thank goodness you, you did leave this situation because I feel like this could have been you or you could have been involved in this drama. I feel like you guys are just over it and you walked away. Yeah, you were over this. Look at this. Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. This person betrayed you for some of you guys. This person was living a double life. This person was a liar. They're sneaky. They, for some of y'all, this person was a thief. Um, or this person could be using somebody else. You know, this person didn't feel bad about whatever it is that they did. That's how you felt about this person. That's exactly how you felt about this person. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you, you feel like this person was ex extremely reckless. You know, made, made too much quick quick decisions didn't think about didn't i think i said they this person was like in, impulsive and immature and they just made decisions that were not good for them show me what else is going on with the collective please nine of wands you feel like this person was a player now this is you moving forward this is, I feel like you in this Nine of Wands energy, this is you taking action. You're being a go-getter. You're going after whatever it is that you want. You're going after your own goals. You um, <clears throat> you do feel like this person is like flighty in and out. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you're disappointed in this person's your Five of Cups. You're disappointed in the loss and the separation. You were disappointed in this person's behavior. Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, you're like... This was very disappointing, but you had to let it go. It was too much of a burden here. What else for the collective, please? Ooh, huh. This is Seven of Cups. I'm telling you, this person had you in this confusion. <clears throat> mm hmm. Tower. For some of y'all, there's an unexpected new opportunity coming towards you here with the Tower and the Page of Pentacles, Scorpio energy. Hmm. All 
right, let's see what else here. <clears throat> what else here for this situation, please? Okay. Hold on, I got some cards that turn over, so I'm going to... Yeah, there's a tower moment coming here, either for some of you. Oh, yeah. Like, listen, you guys, there's something in your life that's about to change, and it's about to change for the better, especially with that page of Pentacles and that tower card coming out here, because guess what just came out? Destruction and transformation. <clears throat> I believe that this is a tower moment for, for you. There's some form of change, but I feel like it's a new opportunity. Um, you guys are ready for another level in your life. You're like, you're moving on and releasing these burdens and you're transforming and you're going through like this death and rebirth process here with this destruction. And because the destruction energy is the, um, energy of, um, the tower. Okay. It literally says tower moment, change, new opportunity and unexpected. You're having some form of breakthrough. You're ready for the next level here. <clears throat> Money, career, status, and third dimension. Make your mark. So you guys are literally out here about to have a really great opportunity here. You know, the coming towards you. You're going to be in this Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups energy. Um, You know, for some of you, I don't even know if I want to say like, if this person is going through. Show me here for the collective person. What's going on with the collective person? Damn. Hold on. Deception came out. Split energy. Unfocused. This person does not know what they want. They still are in this energy of undecidedness or like deception and not being honest. Okay. Um, this person's having a hard time realizing or understanding who they are. They really don't know who they are yet. They are trying to look past the illusion and the mask. You know, they're trying to look past some sort of superficial something here. Because I feel like for some of you all, they're in another karmic cycle and they're deciding to stay in that because they're getting something out of it. Okay. You guys are in some sort of manifestation growth energy here. Like... Fertility, be careful if you don't want to have a kid here, but the energy of fertility is here. Again, there's a new pathway opening up. I feel like you guys are understanding who you truly are and you're on a you're you've accepted that there's another journey that you need to be on. Um and somehow, some way I kind of do feel like your person is too, but they still seem a little bit confused here. Show me more here about this. Yeah, you guys are healing, taking good care of yourselves. Yep, yep. If you are the Divine Feminine, look at this. Divine Feminine, you are healing. You're taking very, very good care of yourself, okay? You are growing. You took a time out from this. Um, yeah. You love this person, you do, but it's just not... So you're in Empress energy right now. So there could be something here that you're getting ready to create that's going to bring you a lot of opportunity or some changes in your career or changing your... It's like giving Ace of Wands energy here, okay? Union. Look at this. Self-worth. Self-worth. You know what? Confidence. Being empowered by valuing yourself. This is the energy that you are in. Male or female, if you, if you resonate as a divine feminine, okay? I feel like that's you. But this is your person. Look at this energy that came out together. Stuck and unawakened. This is your person that you're, you know, not in communication with right now. This person's stuck and unawakened and you, you are realizing your self-worth. You, you stood up for yourself. You, you dropped those ten of wands, that ten of wand energy, okay? This person is just... Dug. They're just stuck in, they're not ready yet, you guys. This person is in darkness and they're mostly in their ego. They were just really worried about what was going on in the 3D. They made really bad decisions. They're, they want to come into union and they want reconciliation. But I think this is Spirit saying it's time for you to go be with your other person. So Spirit may have someone else for you, I feel like. And I feel like, honestly, they have someone who's ready they have to have somebody who's ready to, for this four of wands and this ten of pentacles energy to be showing up here. It's not your person. Not based on the energy that I'm seeing here. Yeah, look at this. Your love is blooming. Blooming. Love is blooming. It says, yeah, your person feels left out in the cold. For some of y'all, your person feels like you may have moved on with somebody else. Maybe you have. I don't know. 
Um, then it says knowledge, understanding, looking for the lessons in this situation. So I feel like this is you learning the lessons out of the situation. You learned a very valuable lesson, um, you know, and you've raised your, your vibration. You are off to a new fresh start in your life. And what you have coming towards you is going to be amazing. It says new opportunity, release the past. This is your second chance. Did not just say, I feel like spirit is sending you somebody else because your person is not ready. The person is not ready. You're on a higher vibration right now. Oh yeah, look at this. Spirit is about to send you a divine masculine who who is more in alignment with where you are. It's all about divine. Look, look at this energy. Divine timing, masculine, and vibration. Like this says divine timing, patience, perseverance, and peace. Trust that the divine knows when the right time is. Masculine, your divine masculine, your twin or your soulmate is seeking you. I feel like there's someone else seeking you that's on the same vibration. And they're in positive energy, this new person is, okay? Um, so the spirit is just reminding you to make sure that you're doing what you can to keep your, um, continue to take care of yourself and to continue to maintain the high vibration and the good energy that you already have. Because realize that you are attracting what you desire here. And I feel like what you're desiring here is this uh, masculine that's like you. That's like you. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys have been in solitude quite a bit here lately. I feel like this is your person who's in solitude. I feel like you've been working on your goals, though, like your money, um, you know, maybe buying a home, whatever it is here, your business. Yeah. Whoever this new person is. This person may be a water sign. This person um, may be born in um, Taurus. They might be a Taurus. Maybe they're a Gemini. This person is going to want to be friends and take it slow first, okay? Um, also, to hmm. For some of you all, this person, your past person, may come back to kind of give you a temperature check is what I'm getting here to see if you may want to talk with them. Some of you will not. Some of you don't. Um, this person, again, is, like I said, watching you from a distance. They're watching you on social media here. Now, for some of you all, there could this could be the energy of somebody that you don't even know that's been watching you from afar that you were not aware of and this person's been watching you from a distance and this person kind of wants to reach out to you and just like flirt with you or just talk with you just to see like if you're open so um be open to it okay it says all is well things will work out as they should believe that they will and detach from outcomes all is well so yeah all of this is going to work out the way it was supposed to Okay, it says some old feelings still linger, but they want to get to know you better. Don't rush it. Take your time. Within six months. So within six months, you guys, some of you all, you know, between six months, a year, or maybe somewhere in between now and springtime, you might. I mean, if for some of y'all, this could be immediate. I don't know, right? Everybody's situation is different. But there's somebody here you're going to take it slow with, but I feel like it's going to have a very good, strong, solid foundation. This person is going to be in alignment, looking for the same thing that you want. This has the potential to be somebody that you can stick it stick it out with and be with, okay, for a very long time, especially with the Ten of Pentacles being here and the Four of Wands, okay? So keep that in mind. Unfortunately, pray for your person who you're not in communication with because, honey, they are going through it. So anyway, hit the like button. Um, yeah, um, love you guys.